Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Okay, uh, you're looking at my MATLAB environment uh, in Linux, Ubuntu specifically. Uh, and this is using, uh, hosted by VMware. All right, so let's get to it. Now, I have MATLAB running. The reason I'm doing this is because of various concerns I've been struggling with in terms of security with Windows and Windows lagging. So I'm still trying to find ways to uh, move myself off of Windows and Microsoft technologies. So let's get started. So in that lab we have um, the guide which is I'm hoping to be my front end to whatever applications I come up with. Now I've shown this before but um, we have a blank guide and um, Typically what you can do is you can develop your little guide, put your little radio buttons or whatever in there and uh, you can create a script. So let me just uh, show you a, a mock one that's kind of part of MATLAB. Um, so I'm going to use, I believe, yeah, it's this one here. Um, so this is my, my guide. Um, I can play it. This is just a, a, dem a demo version, a stock version of it. Um, okay, let's just uh, see what happens here. Yeah, well, we'll so I, I have one called Test Guide, um, just as a test, but I'll just call it Tester. Uh, uh, okay, maybe, maybe it doesn't work. Um, anyways, uh, let's see what we have here. So. When you do create your guide, uh, it will create a FIG file, okay, and um, usually that means uh, that's the interface file, the, the, the guide file, but yet you can also generate code from your uh, guide. So, let's see if I can pull this up, see if I can open it, okay. Uh, leave it okay. Now I'm just doing this on the fly so hopefully this will work no different than if I was in Windows. Okay so we are there. Now if I run that test guide I just showed you, uh, this one here, let me just edit it. Uh, test uh, guide. Okay the script. Here's the script file. So that gets generated from within the guide interface and you just, don't, you just export it. So that can easily be created. So let me just run that for you. Okay, so here's the, the guide interface. So it's just like a little calculator of some kind and you know nothing exciting. But you can create, as I said, front-end uh, interfaces with this, including uh, uh, you know, charts and plots and all that fun stuff. So knowing that, uh, imagine if you did this. If you want to deploy a tool, now remember I'm running in Win, uh, in Linux, not in, um, in uh, Windows at all. Now, I can create a Java package. Now if I create a Java package, let me just actually choose that. You get your choices right here. So, what you gotta do is you gotta add your folders, your classes, so that you can um, they can be interfaced with from within Java, um, and then you can add in uh, other things. Like in this case, I've added uh, not done anything really. Um, let me see if I can load up this package here. Okay, so this is this is this is exactly what I did to generate the uh, test guide uh, package. So you just add this test guide. Uh, that becomes your main file, um, and then I believe out of that you also have to include uh, any classes. So you just click here to build it, and what will happen is it will build the uh, the uh, package for you. Now what you're trying to do is you're trying to build out a a Java jar file. So you can then have a client Java set of source code execute. Uh, call that uh, generated Java um, package with this test guide. So you're actually essentially 
calling from within Java your interface that we just created um, <clears throat> that can be generated from within MATLAB. So you can do all that within uh, Java. Now, obviously, the big advantage is, is that you have the ability to uh, have that uh, run on multiple OSs or operating systems like Windows, Mac, OS X, and uh, Linux as in here. Now, let me just show you some of the other options here in the deploy tool. I haven't really played a lot with this, but this is within the uh, the uh, Linux environment. So obviously, if you have Windows, you have a lot more options, including .NET packages, assemblies, COM objects, Excel, a standalone EXE. Um, but in this case, we're just going to leave it as is. We can create a, a C++ or a C shared library. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, so if we can do that, um, imagine what uh, power we have available to our fingertips. Now, let me just show you um, the uh, Java jar file where it gets packaged up. Yeah, I'm just uh, working in, in uh, Linux is a, is, is a mind trip on its own. Uh, okay, you know, let's clear all this stuff up. Okay, so here's here's the package. Um, now it does get um, put in this path here as default under your home directory, uh, and then you have a distribution uh, folder, and you get your your uh, files. So here's the jar file. So uh, that's pretty cool. So let me just figure out. How we can do a C++ or a C library to call? I'm gonna fool around with it and report back to you. 